What's going on everyone? Tent with Muskoka Property Care back again. We're at my uncle's cottage. As you can see there. If you follow me on my other social media, you'll know that I've done this already because his uh, plow truck broke down right there. The uh, This is the end of our three day storm uh, that I posted the other two videos about. Um, and this is basically what we've got here. I don't know if you can tell, but it is deep. So what I think we're going to do is push the end out first, then bring the snow down, push it into this bank, and back drag everything that's near the deck and the cottage and bring it back over to this spot as well. Alright, hope you guys enjoy this video, if you do, uh, hit that like button subscribe and let's get to plowing We changed uh, our mind a little bit on our plan of attack here. Uh, as you can see, instead of pushing the snow down towards the shed, we actually spun around and we're eventually going to push the snow up to the road and push it into the district snowbank. This was just a lot easier uh, traction wise and it also didn't uh, create a large mess at the bottom of the hill that we'd have to pull away and back into the uh, shed snowbank. What we always try and do, if possible, is keep as much snow away from cottages or houses that we can. Uh, this just limits the chance of water uh, getting into the foundation during our big spring melt-offs. We also try and push our banks back as far as possible. The reason for this is we get a large amount of snow and very little melt-off during the winter. Uh, so if you don't push your banks back, eventually you're just going to run out of space and your driveways are going to be very, very narrow. Or you're going to have to do uh, some snow removal and hauling. We're now erasing the clock as you can see, it's kind of starting to get dark. Um, we don't often get to plow during the daytime, but when we do we take advantage of it. Um, only because obviously in the dark uh, it's a lot harder and not as safe to plow. This is just another example of us uh, trying to leave as much room as possible uh, for future snowstorms. You can see we make a pretty big effort to try and push banks back as far as possible. Thank you. 
So what you can see here is what we talked about earlier. We're trying to keep as much snow as we can away from the cottage. So we're back dragging all the snow out and we're going to push it into the bank by the shed. Again, this just helps with the spring melt off and limits the chance of water getting into the cottage foundation. There are quite a few hidden rocks that we have to work around here, so you'll see the plow dip and kind of bounce in certain spots. Uh, this is due to the fact of our Muskoka granite. We're known for it, but it also makes things a little difficult because there is large uh, rock outcroppings and also large boulders that are kind of uh, surrounding this driveway. They are beautiful, but they do create uh, some unique challenges in the area. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, there will be one more plowing video from this three-day storm event, which is a lot of our residential driveways. It kind of starts at night and goes through uh, into the next day. Um, not sure how much footage I'm gonna put in there. Uh, haven't even looked at it to see for lighting, but look for that in the next couple days. Uh, in the near future, you're gonna see some springtime videos. Uh, aeration, overseeding, mulching, uh, and then furthermore grass cutting, landscape installs, and things like that. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Alright, that's it for now. We'll see you guys on the next one.